Hello everyone. Well, I've got another vintage Hoover to look at today. This one is from, I believe, 1973. It's got the original box. I've also got, I didn't buy these tools with this, but I already had some. I've got a cleaning toolkit, model 6520, for this Hoover Senior, or Hoover Convertible, as you'll know it, in the US of A. So, this isn't new in the box. It's not factory fresh. It was factory fresh not that long ago. Well, yes, it was factory fresh a long time ago, but it was opened more recently. So I am the um, third owner, I think, of this cleaner. So it's not new, it's not unused, but it's probably the nearest I'll get to owning a nearly new Hoover Senior. So. Let's get it out. We've got the instructions, a belt, and some bags. I'll have a look at those in a minute. Now, this is one telltale sign that it has been assembled and used. It's pretty unavoidable. I suppose there is ways you can protect this part when you're assembling it, but there's no point now because it's all, already been damaged. So the paint has come off on the lower handle. Here we have the upper handle. Lovely jubbly. And metal cord hooks on this. These often break on the later versions, but it's metal on this one. We've got the spring at the back here that uh, keeps the bag taut. Reminds me of going to the greengrocers in the olden days for a bag of apples. But we don't have a bag of apples inside this uh, bag. We have a bag. We have a lovely, lovely Hoover bag. With a zip, of course. And a bottom bottom fill design pretty clean i know it's been used a few times it's still got the sponge inside the fill tube that was just to help reduce the noise level i believe of especially gritty particles going through it it's sort of a sound deadener may also reduce the noise of the airflow i don't know but there we go that's the the bag and i think it's time for the cleaner to come out of the box. Got some of this old fashioned wax paper. Now I've had some of that on, I did unbox quite a while ago and I haven't looked at it since. So it's it's probably gone yellow, but it's been stored in a dark place in the original box. Got a Hoover Junior that was more or less new in the box. Another bit of paper. And here we have the cleaner itself. And nothing else to look at apart from that, which would have been used to tie the cable up when it was fresh from the factory. Let's put that back in the box. Throw the box to one side with all the bits in it. Oops, a little bit of paper on the underside as well. So, yeah, not not quite, you know, factory fresh. It's a little bit scuffed. I thought that was a scratch. It's just a something else on there. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a wipe, and then we'll assemble it, and then we'll uh, see if it works. But there's a couple of jobs I want to do with this machine in this video. That is to check the suppressor. If it's in there, I want it out. And I'm going to replace the traditional headlamp with an LED one, which runs a lot cooler than the ones that uh, Hoover supplied and you could buy back in the day. This lens is very white, but these lenses often would go yellow. And that's, I think, partly to do with the heat from the headlamp. So I don't want any excess heat. So I'm going to try one of my new bulbs. I have tried it in another senior and it flickered, so it might not work in this one. So. I'll just get this assembled and we'll take a closer look. 
Okie dokie, here's the underside of the cleaner. This is model uh, 652, I think it's a 652C. And there's no belt. Oh, well, that's marvellous, isn't it? I have been supplied a belt, but the original belt, I think I've got some handy. Now, obviously, it's best to store, if you're storing uh, one of these cleaners away, to slip the belt off. Otherwise, when you come to use it in months or years, uh, you'll find that the belt is stretched. Okay, I need two screws to undo here I believe just to remove the hood so I can change the uh, headlamp for an LED one and have a look if this cleaner actually has the dreaded suppressor or ticking time bomb okay well I've been to find a belt and it wasn't easy I wasn't really expecting to have to look for a belt and um, I've got plenty of belts but they're in the garage um, not easy to get at at the moment. Fortunately, I had another in the box Hoover Senior with a new belt that I uh, stored, not actually attached. So here it is. So that should be fine for now. Okay, I think it's only two screws we have to undo. And if we carefully turn the cleaner over, Hopefully the hood, yes, the hood comes off with the lens. There you go, look at that folks. Ooh. So we have, oh dear, now that's an odd one. We have the dreaded suppressor. It's green on this one here. I mean, it looks okay. I don't think it's quite as simple to do. Yeah, it's all oh dear, it's all connected up to the headlamp and everything. So, uh, there's no signs that this is going to blow at any moment. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting one of those big metal things. But this is in a plastic casing, so I'll I'll risk it for this time. But ultimately, I will be taking that suppressor out. Okay, well I've now plugged the machine in, so it's live which is something you shouldn't do, but I just want to switch it on with the motor hood off. Let's hope the suppressor doesn't blow. I'm just going to go behind the machine and switch on. Well, she's a bit squeaky, isn't she? Um, I'm not sure where well, she's a bit squeaky. That might go after she's warmed up a bit. Um, it's got to be the motor because the agitator isn't actually in, so the squeak is coming from the motor. This is the top bearing. Anyway, I've got these, and they are hopefully warm white. But I have tried bulbs, LED bulbs, on older hoovers before and they've flickered but this is a slightly different style of the LED it's one of these filament types the style I've tried before are those ones with the little square LEDs in so yes I have unplugged it now these are SBC bulbs or small bayonet cap and this one it's probably best I keep it nice because this is actually a hoover bulb the original one that uh, I'm sure was fitted at the factory so I'm going to see this might be a little bit brighter as well but it'll certainly it'll certainly run a lot cooler than the original filament bulb so I'm going to plug the cleaner in again and we'll just see if this bulb works without flickering Yes, that one seems fine. It seems to be about the same sort of brightness. Now, obviously, with the camera, when a bulb goes off, it does affect what you see. So I'm just going to pop the hood back on. I'm handling this as if it's a, a, f 
fragile piece of porcelain china. But really, <laughs> yes, they weren't very fragile, obviously, when these were purchased. When this was a new cleaner, this is definitely from 1973. When this was a new cleaner, it would have been purchased to be used and abused, I expect. So, let's carefully do up the two screws. Now, obviously, that is the way that you would change the headlamp bulb. That's not, no, it's gripping now. That's the way you change the headlight bulb on one of these. But I think a lot of people, once the bulb went, <laughs> they didn't bother. And it might have only got a new bulb when it was serviced, because obviously people used to have their hoovers serviced back in the day, because compared to the cost of vacuum cleaners now, these were extremely expensive. Of, of course, though, we're getting vacuum cleaners costing up to £800 for cordless model. So, you know, things are expensive now, but you can get a decent German-made bagged upright vacuum cleaner for £250, that sort of price. So, OK, I'll pop the, uh, the brush roll back in. And here it is. I've just screwed up the ends. They were a bit loose, but... That's running very nice and smoothly, isn't it? So I'll pop the belt on. I've stolen from another vacuum. And which way does it go in? It goes that way, doesn't it? There's only one way you can do it. In it goes. Right, okay, let's make sure the belt goes on per the diagram. There we are. I think that's correct. Make sure it rotates freely. That isn't there. There we go. Just had to straighten it up a bit. There we are. That should be fine. I'll just switch on again. I'll plug the machine back in. And we can just check everything is rotating as it should. Now the Senior has a two-speed motor, so normally it operates at 420 watts. Now the 20 watts is to make allowances for the bulb, so it's a 400 watt motor. But when you connect the tools, it boosts it up to 650. I always thought it was 600 watts, but it's 650 on this. And there's a little micro switch here. You can just, just if I shut up a minute, you can hear it. And that's what boosts the motor from its normal carpet cleaning to its 650 watts for above floor cleaning. So I can show you that in action now. Okay, so I'll have a quick look at the rating sticker. So it's Hoover model 6525C, 240 volts, 40 to 60 hertz, 650 slash 420 watts. So the serial number is 0652303111915. So this does make it from 1973, if we know the decade this cleaner was produced. Because it's certainly not 53 and it's not 83, so this is 73, I think that's March 73. Trademarks of Hoover Limited, made by Hoover Limited, Great Britain. This is a pack of two bulbs I bought from Amazon to replace the traditional filament bulb. I'll leave an affiliated link for this under this video, so if you want to get some, if you've got a vintage Hoover that uses a small bayonet cap, these seem to be fine. We'll see what it looks like when the machine's going again, but they don't flicker like some of them. It seems okay, so I would recommend these so far, unless they blow within two minutes, but we'll soon find out before the end of the video. Before we run the Hoover over the carpet, we'll just have a quick look at the bits that came with it. So we've got this swing ticket, a Hoover quality product, British made and B. Biab approved British Electrotechnicals 
approvals board, so it's safe. Hoover make things better for you, which was their strap line from the 70s. Uh, into the 80s it uh, became Hoover, who better? Let's have a quick look at the old paperwork. And the, the bags, which obviously I'm not using. I fitted a, a SIBO fleece bag to this. I cut the end off. SIBO BS36 bag I've put inside. So here's the original Dubri that would have been around the flex to show you how to wire a plug. And this, I believe, is the original belt. But as you can see, it's pretty distorted, so it wouldn't have worked very well with that belt. We have our guarantee card, which you can pop in the post to Hoover PLC, no Hoover Limited, before they were PLC, Pervale, Greenford Middlesex. I've actually been there to that hallowed place and before it was a Tesco and it's now, well it's a Tesco at the back and it's apartments at the front. I actually visited the Hoover place in Pervale when it was still their head office. What a fantastic day that was. So that's the guarantee with send off. Here's the instruction book, which uh, I might have one of these at home. Not at home. I am at home. I might have. <laughs> I might have one of these in stock, so to speak. I've got many instruction books for cleaners I don't even own. We've got the toolkit pictured there, which I'll be showing you in in real life in a minute. And there's a lady using her double stretch hose to reach up the stairs there. And of course this is a guarantee and I believe it's just a year Hoover give you. Sure it's a year. Yes, one year, one year's guarantee. But of course, as we know, these lasted a lot longer than a year. So there's that. We've got two, is it two? Of the original bags, was it three? It could be three. No, two. Lovely. Obviously, I'm keeping these as they are. Just a single layered paper bag. And finally, we've got this rather pensive looking lady. I wonder what she's thinking. She's thinking what to make her old man for tea, perhaps. Or she's wondering if the coal man is going to pay her another visit. I don't know, but she's, she's obviously considering something. But... Uh, it says here more than just a carpet cleaner and this is showing you the optional tools you could buy for hoover upright cleaners and at the back this is obviously this particular hose fitting would fit a hoover freedom but it would also fit a hoover convertible not to be confused with the american vertible you'd know that as a convertible if you're watching this from america but our convertible you'd know that as a dilemmatic so, very, very confusing, but this is the tool set I'll, I'm going to show you, more or less. little slight variation. So there's a nice little bonus leaflet. So I'll get the tools and show you those. I bought this tool set a while ago to go with my other Hoover Senior, which I think is also a 625C. You'll see that on my channel, but that was a used one. Pretty good condition, but obviously not as good as this one. So ultimately I will sell the one I've shown you earlier. I am currently, at the time of making this video, I am selling quite a lot of vacuums, but at the moment, it's mainly newer cleaners I'm selling that just that you can actually use. They're not really collectible. But later on, I will be selling some more of the collectible ones. But obviously this, this is staying in my collection for quite some time. So I bought these quite cheaply and I don't think they were described as new, but they are. They've not been used. They've still got the original paper wrapping. They were slightly discoloured though. And I've cleaned them up. I got them out today and cleaned them. And they've more or less come up as new. They've yellowed slightly. And I got rid of the yellowing. No need to retro bright. I just used uh, some of the tea cut scratch remover on a cloth, circular motion, left it to dry and buffed it up with another cloth. That was, con I should have shown you before really, but trust me, that was quite yellow. So that's the Hoover would call the floor and wall brush. And then we've got 
the dusting brush that's still slightly yellow I'm not sure if you can pick it up but that was quite yellow as well the all-purpose nozzle with the rubber teeth to help deal with pet hair all new and fresh goes very well with this cleaner lovely lovely crevice tool that wasn't yellowed but I did give it a bit of a polish up as you can possibly see two wands because this is the senior and it's it's got more suction than the Hoover Junior it's a more deluxe more comprehensive toolkit you'd only get one wand with the junior you get two with the senior the junior would come with one wand uh, all-purpose brush I think and the crevice tool but of course any Hoover tools would fit from this era that use the pip fitting so here's the curved handle the double stretch hose and this is the converter which I'm about to insert into the Hoover Senior now you should be able to attach the hose to a Hoover Senior just by tilting the machine forward and slotting in the converter there we go that's in place I'll just show you what it looks like underneath in case you're interested so here we can see the converter fully inserted into the machine now unlike the Hoover Junior the belt is still actually on the motor spindle so the brushes on the senior will continue to rotate even when using the hose that's why Hoover put this metal piece which is designed to lift the nozzle off the carpet so it's not brushing it was a much better design with the junior that actually removed the belt so not such a, a good idea this it is a bit quicker I suppose just to slot this in what I'm going to do again we'll just slot it in and we'll be able to hear I'm going to turn the cleaner on probably scratched up the paint but you know case of R this cleaner is going to be used okay so you'll hear I'm going to turn the machine on and you'll hear again the motor boost the suction once I've fitted the tool converter didn't detect any change I'm sure it must yes it must work just couldn't detect a change in tone but the micro switch definitely switches over there we go so now as you can see just about the brush is not touching the carpet even on my deep pile carpet or plush pile it shouldn't actually make contact as I'm using the cleaning tools Well, despite despite the boost of uh, 650 watts, it doesn't feel any better than the Junior, to be honest. It feels worse. I do have somewhere my suction gauge Dubry, but I don't think we're going to get a very good reading from these. They don't really seal the suction. I'll give it a go, though, but a lot of the suction is going to be lost, even if I put my thumb over that hole. Is there any other way of doing it, I wonder? Hmm. No, not really. Not really. Um, no. We'll get a very rough idea, won't we? As I said, a lot of suction is going to get lost through the uh, gap. Well, that was only about 14 just about on the gauge so 
not very good at all i'm pretty sure the hoover junior was a little bit better than that maybe up to 20 which you know you'd expect the senior with its deluxe toolkit and higher wattage motor to have more suction but it doesn't appear to have Anyway, we've had a look at the tools, haven't we? We've had a look at the motor, the brush roll. We've changed the headlamp. What a palaver, there we go. And with the hose out of the way, we can have a look at the, whoops a daisy, height control here. So we can adjust the height of the cleaner head. I think the height it's in now will be a bit too high so as you can see that's on its highest setting and then I think I'll try the machine on that setting which is sort of the medium pile and then we've got next setting down which is for even lower pile medium to short and then finally the shortest pile carpet and what this does instead of adjusting the front wheels as on a lot of cleaners with the senior style what the lever does as you can see is adjusts the height of the back wheels so on its lowest carpet setting the back wheels are sticking out the furthest and on the highest they're more flush with the machine so as you can see that's the high setting at the front and then you can see as I move the lever at the back, the plate at the front makes more contact with the carpet. So because there's suction and it will lift the carpet up on a cushion of air, as these traditional hoovers worked, I think that might be too high, but you never know. I'm going to try it on that setting.
Well folks, I wasn't expecting to show you the inside of the cleaner again, but it's happened. Off camera, the suppressor has failed. I was merrily vacuuming the rest of my living room, not filming it, and I noticed a burning smell and I thought, oh, it could be the belt because burning rubber and the smell I'm smelling at the moment that's filled my living room is quite like burning rubber, but it's not. Now I opened this up expecting to see the suppressor blown, but instead, well, I'll show you a little clue. It's definitely the suppressor. The machine was still running, by the way, when the suppressor went, but the smell, if I'd left it running, I think I might've had a bit more of uh, devastation. So inside the hood, can you just about see here, the blackened area? So that's the side the suppressor is on when the hood's on. And I'm gonna get some uh, kitchen roll it's a bit hard to see, but instead of blowing up, some sort of liquid has come out of it. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some brown liquid just under here, which if I... I'm, I'm just worried that there'll be some residual electricity inside that, so I'm trying not to get too close. There, you can see there, look. That hasn't been up my nose, that's off the vacuum. And I think, yeah, I think there's a little bit of damage here. There's something, something's been going on with this thing. So that, folks, is why I like to remove the suppressors of vacuums. I thought it would be okay. And it has been used, you know, pr probably a bit longer than it ever has been used while making this video because You'll see the edited highlights. This machine has been running longer than you've seen it running. So what I'll have to do is get rid of that ticking time bomb. If you don't know what suppressor is, they were fitted to appliances with electric motors to stop them interfering with your TV and radio. Now some people say you shouldn't remove them, they need replacing, but it's hard to get replacements. They do work without the suppressor. The suppressor is normally the thing. If a vacuum goes bang, it's normally the suppressor. It's often the suppressor. I've had what would be called a Hoover Deluxe back in the day. When I was still at school, it was a pink Hoover Senior. And I think I gave it to a friend of my mum's or in exchange for something else. And hers blew up and I just binned it, took it to the dump. Because as a child, I didn't realize that it was probably the suppressor. I didn't even open it up. I wasn't confident enough to sort of be able to fix it back then. I didn't think I'd even have a look. So I think if I'd had opened up that uh, Pink Hoover Senior, I would have found out that the suppressor had blown and it was probably one of the metal ones. It was a much earlier senior than this, a 60s senior. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this a bit just in case. I don't know if this stores electricity. I'm going to remove this and uh, the cleaner will just work just as well without. But it's a bit of a shame to end the video showing you the perils of the old suppressor. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll have seen a picture of this. The offending article has been extracted. Look at that. And I've cleaned it all up, cleaned all the area where it uh, had leaked out this foul smelling brown liquid. I've left the uh, little holder in but it was quite a simple job just to disconnect the suppressor and then just uh, tighten up the screws again. So I undid the screws. So one, one of the leads went to the headlamp, the earthing lead went to the top of the motor and the black lead went to one of the carbon brushes. So that's it. That is what a suppressor looks like, they all vary, but that's what the suppressor looked like in this Hoover Senior. I'm going to throw that away, I think. I might just keep it in a bag, I don't know. But I don't think it's gonna work if I was to reconnect it. So hopefully now, now that that offending item has been removed, I'll put the cover back on and this Senior should work again. Well, there you go. All's well that ends well. I managed 
to fix this Hoover Senior. Perhaps I should have taken the suppressor out before I started the video, but you live and learn. I wasn't really expecting it to go that quickly, but it's all working fine now without the suppressor. And I will continue to clean up using this machine today. I'll finish off tidying my living room and make my carpet spick and span with this 1973 Hoover Senior vacuum. If you have any comments or questions about this lovely piece of vintage cleaning technology, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.